Many of the stories of Jesus find their root in the Hebrew part of the Bible, our Old Testament. The first Christians, like Jesus, were Jewish, and so story is central to both their experience of God and their life of faith. It is not surprising, then, that the life and mission of Jesus is told in the context of the other important leaders, like Moses and Elijah. And most often, the story told about Jesus is bigger and more miraculous than the others because the Gospel writers saw Jesus as the greatest leader, the Messiah. Our readings today are a good example of this way of telling story. First, we will hear about how Moses was experienced by his followers when he comes down from Mount Sinai with the Ten Commandments. Then we will hear the story of Jesus' transfiguration experienced by his followers on their journey up the mountain. Notice how the latter story builds up on the earlier story, raising Jesus above the former revered, revered leaders of the Jewish faith. We begin with a reading from Exodus, chapter 34, verses 29 to 32. Moses came down from Mount Sinai, and as he came down from the mountain with the two tablets of the covenant in his hand, Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone because he had been talking with God. When Aaron and all the Israelites saw Moses, the skin on his face was shining and they were afraid to come near him. But Moses called to them, and Aaron and all the leaders of the congregation returned to him, and Moses spoke with them. Afterward, all the Israelites came near, and he gave them, in commandment, all that God had spoken with him on Mount Sinai. Hear now our second reading from Luke, chapter 9, verses 28 to 36. Now about eight days after these sayings, Jesus took with him Peter and John and James, and went up on the mountain to pray. And while he was praying, the appearance of his face changed, and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly they saw two men, Moses and Elijah, talking to him. They appeared in glory and were speaking about his departure, which he was about to accomplish in Jerusalem. Now Peter and his companions were weighted down with sleep, but since they had stayed awake, they saw his glory and the two men who stood with him. Just as they were leaving, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah, not knowing what he said. While he was saying this, a cloud came and overshadowed them, and they were terrified as they entered the cloud. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my son, that my chosen. Listen to him. When the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone. And they kept silent, and in those days told no one any of the things that they had seen. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. 